This sampling of organ music by Felix Mendelssohn is excerpted from that composer's second organ sonata in C minor, the featured work on this edition of Music from Waller Hall, here on WBTN AM 1370, your live and local community-supported nonprofit radio station. Let's first listen to the entire sonata as rendered by our guest on today's show, Justin Foster, one of our region's brightest young stars.
Felix Mendelssohn, who remains among the highest profile composers of the 19th century, was German. He was also of Jewish birth, his grandfather Moses Mendelssohn being an 18th century philosopher of no little renown. For Mendelssohn's family during the first half of the 19th century, there were growing social issues facing those of the Jewish faith. Where that would lead over the subsequent hundred years will be touched upon following this brief station break here on WBTN, noting that this particular Music from Waller Hall show is coinciding with Holocaust Remembrance Day. This is your host, Charles Oligar, along with today's guest, Justin Foster, welcoming you back to this second half of music from Waller Hall, our featured work, Mendelssohn's Second Organ Sonata, having been heard in the first segment. Mendelssohn, among Germany's busiest and most renowned professional musicians, widely in demand as a pianist, organist, conductor, and composer, was lionized in England as the true successor to Handel and Haydn in that nation's dominant musical form, oratorio. As conductor of the famous Leipzig Gewandhaus Orchestra for the final twelve years of his all-too-brief life, he was deemed to have inherited the august mantle of that city's greatest music director, Johann Sebastian Bach. As but one indication of Mendelssohn's immense enduring fame, the number of music societies named after him became legion. For example, in North America, we have the highly regarded Mendelssohn Choir of Toronto, as well as Philadelphia's Mendelssohn Club Choral Society, organizations still very much alive and well. Even in my musically ambitious hometown, Akron, Ohio, the most serious music students boasted membership in our own Mendelssohn Club. The concert programming obtaining in this second decade of the 21st century regularly features such works as the Italian Symphony, E Minor Violin Concerto, and chamber music, not to mention the enduring popularity of the oratorio Elijah. While these statistics might be received as being all well and good, at this time of annual remembrance of the Holocaust, it is not a little disturbing to note that among the lesser atrocities of the Nazi reign of terror was their banning of performances of Mendelssohn's music in Germany. Among the greatest atrocities attending one of the blackest chapters in human history is the horrifying fact that six million Jews were exterminated by the Nazis. Had Mendelssohn lived in the 1930s rather than a century later, he would likely have been among these victims, despite his having converted to Christianity as an adult. Although music from Waller Hall strives to focus on a purely musical mission, may I nevertheless urge those relatively unacquainted with the Holocaust to visit relevant websites, as I encourage every one of us to reflect on these things, disturbing as they may be. I would thus offer at this juncture a short chorale-based organ piece by J.S. Bach entitled When in the Hour of Utmost Despair, Wenn wir in Höchstchen Nöten sein, in which Bach musically conveys the calming assurance imparted by divine grace. I am at the organ in Waller Hall.
Turning now to at least a partial examination of Mendelssohn's extensive role in promoting Bach's music, which a century removed from its creation was by no means as well known as it so richly deserved, we note that in addition to being a skilled concert pianist, Mendelssohn's keyboard attainments included prowess at the organ on which he was among the first in history to present all Bach recitals. Among his favorite Bach works was a fairly brief prelude and fugue in the key of E minor, which came to be known as the Cathedral. At the organ for this recently recorded rendition of Bach's Cathedral Prelude and Fugue is once again our guest, Justin Foster. <laughs>
with thanks for the blessings inherent in Mendelssohn and Bach's music, along with thanking our most welcome regular guest, Justin Foster. This is your host of Music from Waller Hall, Charles Oligar, noting that next week's show will find us visiting several recent examples of organ music written by 20th century American composers. Until then, I bid you adieu, as I bid you tune in at this time next week and every week here on WBTN AM 1370, your live and local, community-supported, nonprofit radio station.